Hello, gentles and ladymen. I am Bison Gaming, and on behalf of the entire Age of Empires 3 community, I would like to give all the new players who just came into the game with the recent update turning us free to play a very warm welcome. We are glad you are here breathing life into our game once again. That said, you all have probably had a rough time of it. Being new players, you're probably booted out of a fair few lobbies in your time so far, and that sucks. Combined with the fact that most people still playing the game have years and years of experience that you don't, and I wouldn't blame some of you for wanting to leave. It's my job, however, to try to prevent that. So first, before I even jump into today's video topic, let me solve your kicking issue right now. Look just below this video into the description. There is a link to the Sunbros Discord server. This server is owned by me and is a place where people can gather and make friends and play together. It's extremely new player friendly by design and we take active steps to keep it as casual as possible and not overrun by the upper echelon tryhards at the top of the game's skill level. You should have no problem finding people to play with, and I, in particular, am always happy to answer questions and help coach new players. There is also a library full of strategies and build orders created by the skilled players in the community so anyone can learn cool strategies and get better at the game. The second tidbit you should do is go check out the video in the card right here. These are full of tips and tricks for brand new players that will help you at a very baseline level and get to a point where you can actually start learning the game and its mechanics. I recommend watching that video and its partner also carded right here before anything else and then come back to this video. Now, onto today's topic. The game is free to play with Civilization Rotation, and currently the three free to play civs are Russia, France, and Haudenosaunee, and I'm going to tell you about them so that you know what civ you want to play and the core base mechanics associated with each. If you would like a more detailed overview on any of these or any civilization in the game, I have a civilization overview playlist as well that talks more in depth about each individual civ than, uh, than we will talk about here. Each civilization has its own dedicated video in that playlist. Alright, let's get on to it. France is the first civilization we will talk about. I like to refer to France as the primordial civilization of Age of Empires 3. This is because France as a civilization has no unique mechanics or gimmicks or special traits. It is the baseline civilization of the game, supporting every standard unit in every unit archetype. In exchange for having zero X-Factor to their civilization, however, they get a baseline boost and are better than every other civilization at doing standard baseline things, as well as having extreme versatility in unit upgrades, allowing them to do pretty much whatever they want. This is all because instead of settlers and villagers to collect resources for you, they have what are called Courier de Bois, which are literally just settlers, but better, with more HP, more movement speed, more attack, and higher gather rates in every resource compared to settlers and villagers for other civilizations. It is important to realize, however, that France is not broken because of this. AoE 3 takes the general approach that if everything is busted, everything is balanced, and other civilizations have unique gimmicks and mechanics to help them keep up with France's baseline ability. France also has the cards it needs to use whatever unit it wants to in any given game. You want to use native alliances on the map? Do it. You want to go, go cal uh, full cavalry? Do it. Skirmishers and musketeers? The world is your oyster. The strength and weakness of France, however, is that it is a fundamental civilization, meaning you need to be good at the fundamentals to be good at France, and it is impossible to be good at France without also being good at the game. While this is a solid weakness, no other civilization will teach you the fundamentals half as fast as France, thanks to this complete reliance on the fundamentals. And when you are good at France, you will have only very small weaknesses, since as a gimmickless Civ, it also lacks a hard counter. Russia is one of the two swarm civilizations in the game, based around making hordes and hordes of meat and throwing it scattershot at the enemy until they drown in ground beef. The unique mechanic of Russia is that you train infantry in blocks instead of batches. For those unaware, units in Age of Empires 3 are trained one at a time, but up to but in batches of up to five. You pay for every unit individually, but they can pop out of your production building up to five at a time, depending on how many you paid for. Block training for Russia, however, is much different. 
Instead, each unit is trained in predetermined numbers. Musketeers could only be trained in batches of five at a time, and Halbs can only be trained in batches of four at a time. Uh, this also applies to their settlers, who are trained three at a time. The disadvantage of this is that you lose out on flexibility, as you can no longer just train units at your leisure with whatever resources you have available, but now specifically need the resources for a full block before you are allowed to train anything. However, in exchange, Russia units are much cheaper on an individual basis than equivalent units from other civilizations. And they have a unit called the Strelet, which can be trained in blocks of 10 instead of 5, something only two other civilizations in the game can do. This makes all gathering huge armies with Russia very fast and easy compared to other civilizations. And they also have a, popula a higher population cap, allowing them to have bigger max army size at the end of the game. So, in exchange, a lot of their units are also weaker than their other counterparts, making Russia an ant swarm civilization. Additionally, training settlers in batches of three is quite the economic bonus once you get used to it, as, you're, as overall you get settlers 10% faster and 10% cheaper than the other civilizations, which is a big deal. Haudenosaunee is our last civilization we will talk about today. Haudenosaunee is a Native American civilization, and this has core mechanical implications. There are five different civilization categories in Age of Empires III. Each category has mechanics that are extremely different and distinct from the other categories, and each civilization in said category is closer to are, are closer to each other than the other than the other civilizations in the other categories, while still maintaining their own uniqueness. The five categories are European, Asian, Native American, American, and African. Both Russia and France are European. However, Haudenosaunee are Native American and have fundamental mechanic and playstyle differences from the other two because of this. Native civilizations have superheroes as explorers that kick ass in combat and boost the stats of all friendly units around them. They also have a unique mechanic called the Community Plaza, where you can task settlers to perform ceremonies that provide, that provide powerful auras and bonuses to your entire civilization instead of gathering resources. These can include increasing train speed, increasing military attack power, and even crazy things like spawning buildings for free or healing all your units in seconds. The backside to these crazy powers is that while your villagers are performing ceremonies, they cannot gather resources, so as a result, natives often have slightly worse economies than other civilizations. It takes some practice to figure out how to properly balance your plaza and economy. Haudenosaunee is actually the closest native civilization to the Europeans mechanically, supporting many similar types of units and even having the ability to train artillery. Their explorer boosts the HP of all friendly units around him by 10%, and you can give him a card that lets him solo buildings and burn them to the ground all by himself. Hauds have lots and lots of unit shipments and are very good at early aggression and rushes, and once in age 3 can switch to their more powerful unit types. They have unique siege units like battering rams and are all around kind of just weird and fun. If you want to learn how to rush and be aggressive, try Russia and then try the Hounds. Both of them do it great, but in completely different ways. Uh, that's all from me today. I hope you learned something about the game and I hope to see you out there. Take care, everybody. So cool, but what can I do? I want this conflictual, but what can I do? Don't let the tears keep flowing. Don't burn your eyes, but I'm so blank. I've lost myself so deep inside.